to demonstrate how the diaphragm works during the process of breathing. Madam, please explain the mechanism of breathing. When we breathe in or inhale, our diaphragm contracts and moves downward. This increases the space in our chest cavity in which our lungs expand. The intercostal muscles between our ribs also help enlarge the chest cavity. They contract to pull the rib cage both upward and outward. Then we inhale the air. When we breathe out or exhale, our diaphragm expands and moves upwards. This decreases the space inside our chest and the lungs contract. Let's perform an experiment to demonstrate how the diaphragm works during the process of breathing. The materials required are a bell jar, a Y-shaped glass tube, a cord, a rubber sheet, balloons and an airtight stop cork. Procedure Take a bell jar and close its open end with the help of a rubber sheet. Fix a small piece of cord in the middle of the rubber sheet. Take a Y-shaped glass tube and tie small rubber balloons on each of its arms in such a way that they cover the openings. Fix this tube at the mouth of the jar using an airtight stop cork. Now gently pull the cord attached to the rubber sheet downwards and watch the activity of the balloons. Release the cord and observe what happens to the balloons when the rubber sheet moves upward. Observation When the rubber sheet moves downwards, the balloons inflate. As the rubber sheet is left free, the balloons deflate again as the air inside these balloons drives out. Result The balloons show the functionality of the lungs whereas the rubber sheet represents the diaphragm and depicts its movement and function. The straight tube and Y-tube act as trachea and bronchi respectively. Do's Fix the rubber sheet tightly at the corners by using an adhesive. The stop cork must be airtight. Don't Don't pull the rubber sheet or the cord with excessive force. The Y-tube used should not be blocked. Thank you, madam. This experiment has made the concept very easy to understand.